Hey guys, welcome to another video in the Free Sky series. And today I wanted to talk about the uh, TDMX. Um, and this is a little uh, uh, board receiver that they have. And I think it's designed mostly for planes or drones or anything else that has a flight controller. So you essentially wire these connectors up um, and put them into a flight controller. Um, but I wanted to see if I could do something a little bit different. So this does have four PWM outputs on it that can go to uh, servos. Okay, so it's got them right there, along with your S bus in and your S bus out. And primarily before, I would just use the S bus out, go to the S bus in on my main receiver, like a TDR10, and I would have redundancy. So with this setup over here, I wanted to see if I can find a way to use the TDMX directly for my planes that only require four channels. So unfortunately, um, the servos require three pins. It needs the signal, which is over here, and it also needs ground, and it also needs power, which is the V over here at the top. And I needed a breakout board, and I found this little device over here. So this is a Trasman Tech. I think I'm saying that right. Um, it's sort of like a transfer board or a breakout board, um, and it's designed for a FlySky FSX. 6b but this works perfectly you've got your if we look on the back over here you've got ground you got your power and you got your signals coming into the board and out of the board it breaks it out and it puts ground at the bottom voltage here and then signal all across here and it has six of them so this is perfect for um, my usage to work with the f with the xm the tdxm so essentially the way I wired this, I have three servo connectors and the first one is plugged into ground and voltage and pin one. Next one is just pin two, three, and four. And next one is S bus um, in, S port, and S bus out. So that's seven signals and this board only, only can do six. But for this purpose, it works good. So the way that it works is after you solder that up, we go ahead and connect it up. So let's go ahead and connect this up. First one is this one. And that plugs in over here. Let me see if I can get some focus here. Next one is this one. That plugs into here and the way I have it wired is this way and this one's interesting so the, the next one I've got my S port in the center I've got my S bus in and S bus out on the sides so if you look over here S bus in is black and S bus out is white so if I need S bus out I just flip it over this way and pin 5 becomes S bus out and S port would be the last pin six. And if I need S bus in, I flip it around like this. And now I still have my S port in, this, in pin six and now that is S bus in. So whichever one I need, I can do that. Chances are you won't need both S bus in and S bus out. Um, and there you go. So this works really nicely to break out. Now I have six connectors here that I can hook up the servos to my ESC um, and my S port and my, uh, if I want, S bus. So there you go. Um, again, this is the Trasmatech transfer board for the FSX6B. Man, that's a mouthful. So what can I use this for? Of course, obviously I can use this to power uh, a plane. Uh, directly. I can use this um, with my TDR10. And let's just say that my TDR10, I'm using it in a plane and now um, it requires more than 10 channels or maybe you're using um, one of the channels for um, S port. So you've only got nine channels, you need maybe 11. So you can use this for the other two channels as well. So um, let's just go ahead and do that. So right now I got my ESC hooked up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and plug it in to this board. And we'll plug it into here. 
Okay. Lights on. And that is now recovered. an active receiver. I already had it bound and set up to this. Um, if I wanted to, I can go into here, go to my RF system, go down to that receiver. So that's TDMX. And I can go in here into options. And if I wanted to, I can change pin one from channel one to say channel 10, channel 11, and channel, I don't know, let's just do 20. And we'll make this one, uh, I don't know, channel 20 as well, well, maybe 21. So the other thing you can do is the S port um, is always on this now on pin six of that board. So if you don't need S port, you can change that to be F bus or F port. Um, so depending on your needs and what you're gonna hook up to it, um, that's where you change that. So that's it. I mean, this is very simple, but um, I bought this off of eBay. I think they were $4 a piece. I think shipping was like $4 or something like that, maybe $5, but I bought five of them and then the shipping went down quite a bit. So then it made sense to buy it. So I bought five of these. You can use these for my TDMX. Uh, receivers and use them in planes by itself. Obviously, if you've got a, a small plane, like a four channel or even five, six channel plane, um, you'd rather use the TDR6 because it's already set up and quite honestly, it's not much more money than a TDMX. But if you have some TDMXs lying around and you want to use it in a plane, this little uh, like device here is just a nice little uh, cheap, simple way of uh, getting PWM outputs to your plane, all right? So uh, guys, if you find this useful, uh, uh, please click like um, and comment. And um, of course, obviously, su subscribe. And that does help me out. And have a good day, guys. Take care. Bye.